I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Va a haber una junta del club de SWAT el martes noviembre primero en la clase de Miss Cooper en el cuarto 7008. Si vas a dar sangre hoy, si vas a donar, por favor, come algo en la mañana, porque si no la maestra Miss Hell te tiene que sacar del bolso y te desmayas. Si conoces a alguien que graduó de Okeechobee High School y es un miembro de las Fuerzas Armadas, por favor pregúntales que si quieren mandar una foto de ellos para el programa del Día de los Veteranos. Por favor, manden las fotos con sus nombres y los años que graduó a la clase de Miss Box en el cuarto 602 o mándalos por correo electrónico al, al correo abajo. Digan feliz cumpleaños a Justin Rogers, Rochelle Baptiste Flair y Gabriel Wilbarger. Good Thursday morning, Okeechobee High School. Glad you're here. We got two days left. You got to hammer down. You got to make it. Hopefully, tighten up Tuesday worked out for you. I didn't have to send anybody to ISS. Um, there's some borderline things I saw, but I think I made my point to a couple of people that were still standing around right as the bell ended. Um, so don't make me have to grab you tomorrow and throw you in ISS. The thought for you is to be somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. So the people you're around, I mean, you always want to be trying to make them feel better, um, and you will feel better by helping people out. It's just the way things go. And you got your generation is better at that even than my generation or our generation is. Um, so you guys got to keep that going. Make sure you're doing things to help other people out. Moving forward and being great as a campus, that's what makes this place great, is I do really believe that even though we will have some times every now and then, you guys actually are caring of each other and you support other Brahmins um, so continue to do that here's my Halloween plug Halloween is Monday okay the 31st Halloween is Monday so here it is if you're just bound and determined that it's Halloween and you have to dress up because you did ever since you were in kindergarten okay you can wear whatever you want that is school appropriate and no masks and no props. So don't be bringing something that you're gonna be distracting all day, some noisemaker, something silly. But if you want, if you're just bound and determined that you're gonna be Cinderella that day, Cinderella is normally dressed appropriately. Okay, if you're gonna be the Hulk, normally. be the Hulk, but you're not wearing a mask. Okay, so we can have some fun with it. It's kinda of like another knockoff of, of homecoming week no masks no props school appropriate okay so school appropriate that means butts are covered cracks are covered everything is covered all the way across the board okay if that's the case then we're good that's the dress code okay we have the no crack rule around here it's not the first time you've heard it it's just probably the first time your parents have heard it live on the announcements but that's it's a given um so just stick to that and we'll be good um, and we'll have some fun with it like we try to have some fun with pretty much everything <laughs> we do. Um, so I, well, there you go. Okay. What you got? Sounds good. Speaking of doing something nice for others, Tyler Smith, this is a shout out to you. Um, caught Tyler doing something above and beyond, going out of his way to help a fellow Brahmin who just so happened to be a victim, victim of circumstance yesterday during lunch, wasn't his fault, but Tyler went out of his way to, to help a, a guy out. So I really appreciate that and I'm looking forward to being able to give out future shout outs as we continue to look for those random acts of kindness on campus. Um, I also wanna talk about college ready lanyards. Last week we threw out a little announcement about these being used as bathroom passes. They are only able to be used as a bathroom pass if your teacher permits you to leave the classroom to go to the bathroom. It is not a 
oh, hey, look, I have a purple pencil. I'm just going to walk out the door at any given time. Also, this only serves as a bathroom pass instead of your cards if it has an ID attached. Oh, and that ID has to match your face. So, you mean somebody that's college ready can only use that, right? Yes. That's incredible. College that's ready of. and have an attached ID. So, so I can't just give this to my buddy and then they use it? Oh, no. No. Guess what It doesn't happens? work that way. When your teacher gets it and turns it into me. Whose is this, Miss Myers? No, you can't say it live on the announcements. Come I on, Miss Contenders. I can tell you this is the second one that I have collected yep. this week. So we're not giving out seconds. If a buddy, you let your friend borrow and they didn't return it, they lost it, or it was confiscated, sorry about your luck. Be smart. This is a privilege. We are trying to honor those who are college ready. Use it wisely. Use it wisely. Okay, so speaking of being wise, we have received no less than three Chromebooks this week with cracked screens. So, Ouch. yes. Now, Where's each, your money? Yeah, yeah, because that's that's like three of those twenties, boom, 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 at a time. Yeah. Um, that screen is sixty dollars to repair. So I'm going to give you a little advice here on taking care of your Chromebook. Um, it's okay to put it in a backpack, but you can't put it in a backpack with fifty other things that might damage it, heavy books, other objects, because all it takes is one little ding of that screen in the right spot, and you can see where it hit because there'll be a little circle there and then coming out from that circle is usually black. You turn it off, you turn it back on and then there's just all these little lines. Screenshot, okay? Has to be repaired, 60 bucks. Now, if you purchase the insurance prior to that happening, $20. That'll cover that screen once. So you get to have an accident once with it. But if you haven't, it's like your car, if you don't buy the insurance and then you crash it, Bad luck got you. You're paying the full price, which is $60. So there's still forms in the office for those of you who might want to buy insurance. Even if you're not taking it home, it's not it's not a bad deal. $20, and then if you ding the screen, you get one repair, okay? So um, just kind of keep that in mind that we're going to expect you to pay for it like a textbook if you damage it. And so um, now that we're starting to see some people maybe not taking being as respectful of them um, we're starting to see some cracked screens so take care of those chromebooks um you're going to be without it until it's repaired and back to you and so um it's kind of a double win because you have to pay and you have to be without your chromebook so take good care of that speaking of helping other people out um today's the blood drive for hosa you should have if you signed up you should have a pass that they gave you when you signed up so that gets you to the the blood mobiles, we will have five of them on campus. So teachers, the nice thing is, is now they're bringing more help. So we should get students in and out pretty quickly. Um, those of you who are giving blood, please take the time to have the food, drink the juice before you go back to class. We don't want anybody falling out in class because there's sugar drops. Cause they and they're not blood. taking walk-ins. No, That's no, they never take walk-ins. Yeah, That's a beautiful so, thing. Yeah, so if you have a pass, your teacher will let you go at your assigned time at your appointment time which is on your card um, so be interesting to see how many how many pints OHS gives we always have a pretty good number so uh -huh. yes one more shout out Miss Goggins today SAT scores came back early students if you took the SAT on October 1st check your emails today mm -hmm. those scores have come back we had two students get concordance scores Ooh. yay so you have now completed that graduation requirement if you have not yet signed up for the sat or act swing by the career center today and get signed up for that next testing day and i think we had what do we have one student that's been really working hard on con that increased mm -hmm. by how many points 60 points 60 points due to con academy yes. so again um, it's there it's free and we have built that time in so if your teacher is not letting you use that time or you're not using that time wisely it's on you yeah use it scholarship money concordance scores there's a whole lot on the line there for you guys if you put the time in use it mm -hmm. be brahmins be great <laughs>